Alex Mills is keeping a watchful eye. He's been collecting lake ice observations on Lake Simcoe since the 80s, adding to a long data record taken by locals for almost 170 years. The overall trend is pretty clear, and that is since about 1850, the lake now freezes up about two weeks later than it used to, and it thaws about one week earlier than it used to. The records from Lake Simcoe were included in a recent global study. York University researchers looked at nearly 80 years of ice data from 122 lakes across the entire northern hemisphere. They found ice-free years have become more than three times more frequent since the late 70s. So there's a shorter season of ice duration, but in some lakes we're seeing that they're crossing that tipping point to becoming ice-free. Driving the trend is warmer winters, and the impact is wide-reaching. Delays opening winter ice roads in northern communities shorten seasons for ice fishing and other outdoor activities. Ice-free lakes also have ecological impacts, affecting water quality, the spawning times of fish, and increased risks of toxic algal blooms. We could have over 5,000 lakes that we've predicted could lose ice cover permanently by the end of the century. Winter. Claude Duguay has been tracking lake changes using satellite imagery. He found that in northwestern Alaska, during its warmest winter on record two years ago, permafrost thaw caused 192 lakes to drain. The climate models are, are currently projecting temperature increases and snowfall increases in, in the same order of magnitudes as those that we observed. It, it's a glimpse at what could be happening in the future. Most lakes in Canada, including Lake Simcoe, still freeze every year, but that could change. There may very well be in my lifetime a year where it doesn't freeze. Another reason, some say, for greater action to fight climate change. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.